Hey folks, John Godfrey here. I don't know how well you can see me. I'm in the sun. I have the lake behind me here. Of course, I'm at home down here on Weiss Lake. Some people call it Weiss Lake, which I did until they corrected me about a thousand times. But, I, you know, I just wanted to kind of share with you today a little bit of my world. You've seen that thing called uh, My World. Uh, what's his name? Waters. Waters World. That was the name of it. He said, you know, my name's Waters and this is my world. So uh, my name's John and out there, this is my world for now. Uh, it's something that we chose to do. We chose the RV lifestyle a couple of years ago and had all kinds of problems right after that. Had a heart attack, open heart surgery, everything in the world broke and it was just a big mess there for a while. So we've been, we're kind of behind on things that we need to do. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing a new thing and you saw the introduction, it's called Dare to Think. I'm trying to get around here where you might be able to see me a little bit. Uh, not that that's important, but years ago I did an article uh, in the paper, it was regular for for a good while, and it was called Dare to Think, and I came up with that article because I got tired of hearing people uh, tell us that we didn't know what we was thinking, we didn't know what we were doing as Christians, you know, and there was no God, and there's all kind of stuff that came out, and then they start global warming, they start everything. We wasn't supposed to speak for ourselves, but folks, um, you can, and you can think and speak for yourself, and I believe that Christians ought to speak up. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a preacher. You know, I'm, I'm just sharing what I should have been sharing for years. God convicted me a while back that, hey, if you say one thing that helps one person, I don't live a perfect life. I get depressed. I get upset. I get mad. And it's just happened recently over a little bit of thing that cost me some trouble. But, you know, I'm, what I'm saying is I'm not perfect, but we need to share. We need to share our faith, our hope, and it's a true hope. So that's what I'm going to do in this Dare to Think uh, blog, I think they call it. I'm an old person. I don't even know what that is. I think it's a blog that's misspelled. So uh, young folks are doing it, I think. But anyway, it's just my way of putting a video out here and, and talking a little bit about the Lord and talking about, uh, you know, what I believe. And I'm not ashamed of what I believe. You might be ashamed of what you believe, or you may feel like you can't share. But I think everybody can share. I really do, and I think that's wrong with our churches and wrong with our Christians. We're depending on the pastors to share for us, and they're paid, which is fine. They should be paid, you know, as far as that goes. I don't want to see them starve. Uh, but anyway, we're just relying on other people to do what Jesus told us to do. We need to go to church. We need to learn, of course, and we need to get everything that we can as far as spiritual food uh, into our souls. But but um, it's not there just to look at it's, or to th say that you've done it. It's there that we'll share with other people and say, hey, uh, we're Christians. Uh, you know, I may not know all the answers, and I don't know all the answers, and neither do you, but I'll do my best to find out for you. But there's a lot of cult stuff going on, folks, a lot of it. People are falling for this stuff left and right, and I'm just going to leave you with this as far as dare to think. I want you to dare to think that life... Uh, the Christian life is about Jesus and about what he's done for you and what he's done for me and what he did on Calvary. Uh, you know, everything else is us sharing that. Now, all this stuff we argue over, it doesn't amount to a hill of a beans. But one day he's going to say, hey, you went to church for 5, 10, 20, 50 years and you never shared your faith? Uh, you know, that's, that's not going to be a good thing. I'm not into the old let's be scared to death thing, but I am into the fact that we need to wake up and kind of do what we say we're going to do. I've lost a loved one not too long ago, uh, and other things have happened in our family that made me realize that we need to think about this thing, and we need to dare to think about our Christianity and look at it from a new angle. And don't worry about being perfect. Everybody knows I'm not, and I've got a lot of problems I'm trying to work through right now. But I'm going to do this, so you do what you can. How's that sound? All right. I love you. Come down to the lake sometime. See you.